The fitting volume, this one is to show the real, real fitting volume. For example, you see 500 ml, but during the fitting, this, this one, this one will increase. For example, 100, 200, 300 to 500. So it's show a real fitting time, real time fitting. Okay, so this is for the automatic pitch. It's just simple. And this button, this button to adjust the speed of the captain motor. Okay, so here is the IO status. The IO status. Menu pitch and some parameter setting. Parameter setting. The target fitting volume, 250. So this is the target. The four parts and the last part fitting volume. The machine, when during phase, he has three different steps, different speed. The first step with low speed, and you see the four part fitting volume is 50. So the 50 uh, milliliter will fill with low speed, and the last part, last part fitting volume is 70. So the 70 milliliter will fill also with low speed. And here is the corresponding speed, the four pass speed, three runs. The last pass speed, 2.5 runs. This is to avoid foam, to avoid foam. And the mid pass speed is six runs per second. And the mid pass speed is automatically count, calculated by 250 minus 50 minus 70. So it, it will, you don't need to set the mid part fitting volume. And here you get the return slow volume. So return slow volume is the servo, up to the piston push up, the servo will suck in liquid. The sucking liquid is by two different speeds. The first pass speed with high speed, the return fast, you with 20 runs per second, and the last part, the distance is only about 10 milliliter. So for this one, you don't need to change. You don't have, you don't need to change this number. Maybe you can make this one like about 15. But this one you don't need to change. And the star wheel speed is for the star wheel frequency, yes. And the conveyor speed is for, for the frequency. We go next page. Lock bar delay. First one is lock bottle delay. Lock bottle delay is like means when we have two two bottle on position, this sensor sends two bottle, and during a delay, this lock will work. So this is for a lock delay. So normally 0 0.5, you don't need to change, and the number one open delay mm -hmm. and the number two open delay, you need you don't need to change. The servo delay. 0.5, you can put it like 0.3. This normally is about 3 to 5. It's no uh, server delay is um, and a server return delay normal, normally is 0.3 to 0.5. You don't need to change it. Nozzle up delay. When the fitting process is starting, this nozzle will going up down there. When nozzle going up to down after a delay, the nozzle will start to raising up. So this delay, nozzle up delay, is is for that. And the front cylinder return delay. For this one, one second, you don't need to change. Start wheel block delay is for this one. It's for this one release bottle. So when this signal detects there is a bottle or no bottle after delay, um, the PLC will detect to 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 send a signal to release cylinder to work or not. So it's you have open delay and closed delay. It's for for light cylinder. The pressing time is. For this pressure, if for now it is one second, so this this nozzle when it start from start working, reach out is it will uh, the duration will be one second. Press 
for one second and up, one second and up. And the brewing time, brewing time is for for the razor. How long to brewing? So this is for parameter setting. Ah, this is停掉，再拍一遍。